Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Lance Shark Rose. I'm your host for this evening. And if this is your first time or returning back to the Pokemon Scarlet series, I want to welcome you guys in. I hope you guys enjoy the video that we have for you today. All right. Now, last episode, our screen just went dark. Last episode, um, we went out and we got the Ground Titan badge. And the video for that is popping up right about now. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hopping over and we're gonna be doing some Team Starfall missions. And hopefully, hopefully, if we have enough time, we'll be able to take on another Titan. So that's that's the game plan for today. Alright. Now, this is the team that we have. We have Swirly, the mag the magician, basically, a magician. Alright, we have Chandler, the um Char Cadet, Finizen, Sackboy, the Tinkatop, Kyle, the Gallade, and Latrell. Oh no, my game is lagging. So we're at track, uh, Tag Tree Thicket. We've been over here before. This is where like all the Orangurus and stuff like that is. Now, unfortunately, you can't go through here. You can't hop the fence. Because if you hop the fence, they're going to have a long thing. They're going to have a long cutscene for no goddamn reason. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad. Take me to Don Atticus? Yo, Don? Donnie? Don Julio? Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. Don't be like that, bro. Don't be like that, baby. I don't care. I'm not leaving until you let me talk to Don Atticus. Don Hooli, baby. Give me a break, you little doofus. Go say hello. I'm going to go say hello. I'm gonna be like, yeah. What did it do, homie? Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star Newbies would be this such this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy my this boy might be Land Shark. Oh, we go to the same academy. Oh yeah, we all go to the same academy. Wait, Land Shark, the that kid who picked the team fight with Team Star. Yep, that's me. Prepare to be raided. Ah, that sounds so weird. I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up all night playing video games. What were y'all playing though? Were y'all playing Doom, Smite? You know what I'm saying? COD? Or Pokemon Sword and Shield? Leave him to me, Mr. Grant. I'll buy some time for you. What? He's my dear compadre, and when Crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, but thanks for the big assist. How dare you, kid? All right, you know what? Now I'm going to have to beat your duties down. I'm going to have to beat the duty. Y'all! Yo, yo! Nah, alright, bro. Alright, boy. Trinity Yusuf. Gulpin? Oh, God. Oh, no. I I would be so terrified if something were to happen to dear Gulpin. Like, I don't know, Psybe. Stockpile? Also, y'all, we do have a question of the day for you guys, because as always, what is a Land Shark episode without the question of the day? Now, the question of the day is, what is your dream team? What are, what would be your favorite like starting six Pokemon that you would have on your team, right? So, to answer for me, I would have Shrudel. Shrudel's poison and normal. Yeah. For me, I would have to say I would go with Gengar, Electivire, Garchomp, Mamoswine, Woo! Scrafty, Fall Guys just updated, as you can see, Fall Guys just updated, Scrafty, and I'm gonna have to go with, ooh, that's a hard, yeah, that's a toughie, right? Scrafty, and honestly, I'd probably go with. I gotta get a. I'll probably go with Braviary. That would be like my starting six. Psych! Or no, actually no. Swap out Braviary and give me for Alligator. For Alligator is too sturdy to pass up. I mean, it's for Alligator or Polyrath, one of the two. Oh my God, Clive, get out of here! No one wants you here, bro. Get away from me. Is this the boy? Is this boy one of the academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right. I'm not a Team Star, a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. 
Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here, Landshark. I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat? Uh, my man. Don't worry, I won't bite. When you say stuff like that, don't worry, I don't bite. That is mad sus. I don't care what nobody says. Oh, don't worry, I don't bite. And it's always in a joking manner like, hee hee, ha ha. What's so funny about that? Nah, brother, I don't bite. Get out of here. Get out of here. Rotate the toe, you know what that means. It's the pick up the phone, baby. Now, as we're dealing with the guard within the base lies, team stars poison include the Navi squad. Their boss Atticus designed the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy's also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off his operation. Time to wipe the team squad, Navi squad, off the map. I always feel like with this stuff, it just takes longer than it's supposed to. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna keep it three stacks like Andre with you. Are my Pokemon healed up? Do I have to heal him? Is that how it goes? Oh, there's Gatling. So I'm getting lucked out beating one of our sister squads, and now he thinks he can take us on. Time to give him the boot gang. Let's show this Gatecrasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Gatecrasher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. I feel like if you have to take all of the 10 minutes to fight this, something's wrong here. <laughs> Defeat 30 Pokemon, Team Star Pokemon? Easy. Easy money. Let's go. Come on. Bring him. Bring it. Bro, look at tickets of wanting all the smoke. Actually, come over here. Come over here. Yo, Finnison's getting clobbered. Yeah, I don't think Finnison was the right person for the job here. Haunter. Whoa, Haunters and Ghastlies? That's crazy, baby. All right, let's see. We're moving on, moving forward. So we're going to bring in Gallade right there. We're going to bring Sackboy right here. Oh, oh. Yo, look at the Claude Zire. Claude Zire, no! Bro, I might have to recall my Pokemon. I might have to just use Gallade, son. Because Tinkertop is getting folded. Oh, Reverend Room? I... Uh... Alright. Gallade, this is you right here, Gallade. This is you right here, Gallade. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah, baby! You're gone. That's 30, baby. That's the sturdy 30. All right? Let's get out of here. He's way above our level. We gotta get to boss. <laughs> like Zoink Scoob. We gotta get out of here. Are you serious? Are you serious? This is gonna be some fuck shit. This is gonna be some fuck shit. I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. Do they all have this guy? Balls of Team Stars, Poison Crew, Atticus. Do they all have, whatchamacallit, what's his name? Why can't I think of this guy's name? Well, I'm going to find out. I'm like, my mind's drawing the biggest blank of all time. Uh, How long is there going to be a black screen for? There we go. Pray forgive, pray forgive my son entry, tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel Landshark, I take it. You have some nerve ba bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. I plunge into a grim poison. Shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard. All right, bozo. Don't get packed, bro. Don't get folded. Do not get folded. Don't do that. Don't do that, Atticus. Atticus the Maticus. The Masochist. Is it Reverend Room? Is that him? Oh, it's Skun Tank. The oh, we might have a problem. Cause I don't think Psychic doesn't work against Dark types. 
That yep, that's exactly it. Psychic does not work against dark types. Oh, that blows! I should have brought in Clodsire, and he used Toxic. Are you fucking shitting me right now? Are you shitting me right now? This is gonna be a little rough. Um, he's poison and dark, right? I'll bring in Sack Boy. Because he can't toxic me. <laughs> he, I mean, he can hit. Mm, yeah, no, he can't use poison moves against me. Eee, doggy. Ah, what are you going to do now, Bozo? What are you going to do now, baby? All right, I'm going to use Rock Smash. I'm going to smash him with my rock. Oh, yeah, Sucker Punch, though. It's not very effective, though. Ow! Get out of here. He's gonna keep using Sucker Punch. However, I'm gonna use an antidote on the my boy. On my boy Gallade, because I know he's gonna need it. There you go. He can't use Sucker Punch because I healed up. Um, if that's all he's got, then I'm gonna smack him. That's literally all he has. So he's not going to do anything against me. Holy schmoly. I don't think that would kill, though, if he uses Sucker Punch. Sackboy still sturdy! Let's go, Sackboy! You're goaded! Send him back to the cleaners, baby. Yes, sir! Look, there's a vending machine right there. Uh, Rubber Room. Rubber Room is... Steel, right? Isn't Rubber Room Steel and Poison? If that's the case, I'm going Chandler and I'm going to Lava Plume the f*** out of this guy, bro. Nah. Because people think, yo, he thinks it's sweet out here. That's the problem. And it's him, right? Never mind. It's not. Wait. It's a grass! Okay, yeah, nah, I'm not doing that. Lava Plume! He has bulldoze. Are you serious? Oh, but we lived because he's too sturdy. Hit him with the lava plume. Wasn't enough though. He has bulldoze. Yeah, bring in Kyle. Because I know Chandler's not gonna live. He's not gonna live another one. He's not gonna live another bulldoze. Shit, I wouldn't either. <laughs> like, was still... I should be faster than. Mm, I don't know what the speed fall though. We're gonna go mystical fire here though. Oh, you booty! Get away from me! Get away from me! You stink! You smell like sardines! Get out of here! Muck! Muck! Oh God! Switch. I'm gonna go Latrell. I'm gonna go Latrell and then I'm just gonna heal up everybody. I might sack Latrell for this though, to be honest. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about sacking Latrell. But I know I'm gonna need to heal up my Pokemon. So. I am gonna Hyper Potion Gallade. Because Gallad, Gallad has more health than Sackboy, but I think it's because he's a higher level than Sackboy. So there's that. He used Sludge Wave. I don't think that's going to kill. That might, I was about to say, that might poison me, though. Is it Toxic Poison? No, just regular poison. I'm not mad about that. Um, And then I'm going to use another Hyper Potion, this time on Sackboy. And then I'm going to use a uh, Super Potion on Chandler. And then we should be good to go here. Hopefully he lives. Yeah, he'll live another uh, another turn. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. GG's. GG's, baby. Not if you don't win, B. Oh. Uh... 
actually, I'll use a hyper potion. I'll use a hyper potion on Chandler just in case. Um, and then after, if Forever Room is fire, and if I am right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna terrestrialize with Kyle, and we're gonna send him to the cleaners, bro. We're gonna send him to the cleaners. Now, hopefully, Kyle can bulldoze muck. <laughs> so let's see. Sorry. All right, it's gonna take a low. It's gonna take a low. He used Sludge Wave. This shouldn't do a lot, though. No. And it didn't think. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. That's all he has is Sludge Wave. Hopefully, it doesn't poison, though. If if it does, I'm gonna have to use a full restore on him. <gasps> oh. Excuse me. There we go. All right. So now, last but not least, we have. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to, like, actually send him out. The Navi Starmobile. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna send out Sackboy. Yeah, I'm gonna send out Sackboy because I know Sackboy will live for the most part. He will live for the most part. I'll heal up Gallade. And then send somebody else out. Because I want this guy to I want Sackboy to live. Ah! Oh! They have their own Torx. Okay. Okay. That I did not know. I did not know that they had their own Torx. I can use a Super Potion here. And we're good to go, bro. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Flame Charge. That will hurt. I really, really, oh, do not tell me. Effective, effective, not very effective. Effective, super effective. So that means I gotta keep using Psybeam, right? That's exactly what it means. Okay, um, I don't want to sack this guy. So I'm gonna see if I can Willow Wisp one with Chandler. If I can't Willow Wisp one with Chandler, I'm gonna be a little scared. But if he uses flaming flame uh flame charge on me, we should be good here. Ah, let's go. So we're gonna will o wisp him. Or do we just go straight for the lava bloom? We're gonna go straight for the lava bloom, actually. Hopefully this doesn't kill. It doesn't kill. And we use lava bloom. Let's go, baby. Alright, Chandler. You might die here. Um, hopefully we can't land it because <laughs> he used flame charge. That's why I do want to terrestrialize though and Battle if I do terrestrialize it's gonna get rid of that typing. It's gonna get rid of the uh, The not very effective noxious torque Go side me It poisoned me! Oh no! This is gonna be rough, bro. I know that this is gonna be annoying. And unfortunately. Hopefully, if I use the full restore. And he uses Noxious Torque, I won't be able to, like, take the damage from it. I mean, I won't be able to get poisoned again. Or get poisoned again. Hopefully. If I do get poisoned again, I'm gonna be pissed. Let's go. GG's, baby. Let's go. Stop using Noxious Torque. Why are you faster than me, you <laughs> Alright. So, since Psychic is the only thing that'll work on this man, I'm gonna have to use this. I'm gonna use a super potion. He just keeps using Noxious Torque like a dope, like a bitch, bro. Look at this. I should be able to live for another uh, Noxious Torque. Yup. Oh, are you serious? 
no! I'm gonna have to use another full restore. Are you the y'all? They really don't want to see me winning. It kills! It kills! When a good thing goes bad. Holy moly, Christmas tree shop. This right here is dubious. This is dubious deeds, bro. It's dubious deeds. So he's gonna. Oh boy, hold on. You know, I feel like I should have sent out Swirly. However. But then again, it won't matter though. It won't matter if he uses Flame Charge because it doesn't. Yeah. Because he's gonna outspeed me anyways. That's the thing. He will outspeed me anyways because of the flame charge. Which is kind of annoying that he does have it, but I'm not mad about it, you know? I might have to send out Chandler again. I might. You know what? I was like, I'm not living that. Side boy, side boy is definitely not living that. But the man is tanky. I'll give her that. Side boy is definitely tanky. I'll give her that. I didn't know Galate's ability was steadfast though. All right, so I should be able be able to kill him with this last side beam if he doesn't crit and if he doesn't poison me. That should do it. Let's go, baby! Yes, sir. All right, all right. Forgive me, my friends. Forgive me. Forgive. Forgive and forget. And forego. About a year and a half ago. That's Don. He doesn't even look like the Don. Forgive me. It took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Whoa, sick. These boots are insane. Ah, yes. The move flame charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great Infernal Eerie if it aligns with your vision. Then I am content. Seems like our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then thanks a ton Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geeked out over old fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I expect- I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. <laughs> Bro, all right. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yes, sir. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. I like Atticus. I like the design of Atticus. All right, gang. Let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our bags into our battle training so we're all prepared for Operation Star. We got to be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what that's what being a boss means. Indeed, it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself heart and soul to honing my battle skills. You know, I feel like... It's not even that. It's not even that serious. I just don't understand what what the whole purpose is here. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed, and so this badge is mine to keep no more. I trust it to thy care. I do like the design. Wow, Atticus. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, Atticus. Why is my guy like winking? He's like, it's <laughs> weird. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover their foes in gunk. Is that gunk shot? It's gunk shot. Let's go. Landshark is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Jesus. Don Atticus, my compadre. It seems like this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here. I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of the team stars saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. You got expelled for being the good guys. That'd be the worst thing ever. Wow. It's valid. Okay. I like that. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, team star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. 
We have no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, none of us has met them in the flesh. But their own words, they are recluse as with the rest of us. Toward it seemed bullying was to blame. Though the name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But but still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You have got a long, lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. Oh, that's touching. That's that what? That's nice. That's beautiful right there. I like it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the academy, but more importantly, I cannot believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Shut up, fly. You know, I feel like they just talk way too much. Even though the story is beautiful and it is touching. I'll give them that. I will give them that. <laughs> I will give them that. Watch, I bet you someone's calling me. There it is. What the root to the toe? Pick up the phone, baby. Landshark, it's me. I take it that Atticus Star Badge is now in your possession. Yes, sir. I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi squads, they are numbered. <laughs> Atticus. Sorry I got distracted for a second there. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Only 6,000? That's it? Only 6,000? Like, what about 10? Use those TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my supply unit grab me too shortly to deliver some bonus materials too. Hello, it's me again from the supply union. What's going on, Chieftain? What the heck? What up, Penny? Hey, stop that! Somebody help! Help me, please! Oh. He's like, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I don't know. However, my man's sleep, bro. My man's slump. It drew all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? really awesome is what it is is it really that's but before i get here's your reward you received lots of pokemon materials let's go your name is landshark right since you're part of operation Starfall battle can i ask you something what do you think of team star they are pretty strong it's because of that stupid river room bro that river room with their own torx annoying annoying as hell interesting you know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted was to push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts, so I'm good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. Thanks, Penny. Appreciate you. Take care, Penny. I love you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video that we had for you today. Drop a comment down below on what your favorite or your team, your team would be. All right. And as always, y'all, this has been your boy, Lance Shark Rules speaking. Treat every day like a Friday. And I'll catch you guys later, baby. Take care.